Jared's YouTube, Ferocious Prepper. Um, wanted to do a little quick video um, and talk about plate carriers for your bug out situation. Um, I have two, I have a concealable armor that goes on under my clothing, under my uniform. Um, and that's a lot more lighter, a lot more, a lot more, should I say, flexibility to where I could do a lot more in it if I have to run, all that. And those are good because, you know, they stop all common pistol rounds. Uh, some of them do a lot more than others. You can get them in different levels. You know, level one is like a 38, level two is up to a nine millimeter, level 3A is a. Uh, all the common pistol rounds, the 44 Magnum, uh, 45. Um, so my concealable that I have is 3A. This one here that I have is, um, it's a 3A and then it has steel plates in the front. Um, it's by AR500, which they have a really good deal going on. Um, you should check out AR500. You can get all of it there, your carrier, your plates, all that, and they're really good plates. They've been tested. Um, you can find multiple videos online of, on YouTube or whatever of them being tested. Um, taking multiple hits from pistol calibers, um, some some rifle calibers. Now, I'm not saying you could be Rambo in this thing and just stand there and let, you know, let bullets bounce off of you, but... Um, you know, and then there's another company, they're making bulletproof hats. I haven't really, I haven't really considered a bulletproof hat. Like, a, what what good is a bulletproof hat going to do? Like, they tested it and, you know, they said, oh, the bullet won't go through, but you have a skull fracture. In a bug out situation, I can't even afford a skull fracture. So, it kind of does no good. You know, and then people say, oh, well, your face isn't bulletproof. Yeah, but if you try and hit a target as big as a head while somebody's running and moving, it's really hard to do. You have to be really good. I mean, I'm not saying it can't be done because there's some snipers and, you know, people that are military trained and not even military trained, really good shooters that could probably do it. But, like I said, it's really hard to do. Um, you know, I keep this, the, the, con the pros and cons to these so there's a con to it that uh, you know this thing is heavy I mean heavy this thing probably weighs I, I don't know 35 pounds with all my gear on it you know the plates everything then that's that's just guessing I don't know I haven't put it on a scale and weighed it never interested me and I probably don't want to know what it weighs because then I'll be like Jesus you know and and then on top of that my duty belt with all my gear and stuff on it um my i have a drop leg holster so it takes away some of the weight of what's on my duty belt but we're talking about the vest you know and the pro about it is it stops all pistol rounds and some rifle rounds um i, I five five six two two three um, I think the back of the plate said all the way up to a 30-06, 308. Um, there's even some plates out there that are like M60. So you can get those. Um, they don't cost a whole lot, this whole this setup that I have. I'll do a, a bigger review on it later to where you can see the whole vest and all that and uh, what I carry on duty. But this whole setup was right around three something 320 350 um for concealable armor you know you can go the option of safe life safe life safe life defense they have really good concealable armor they have really good all armor really from safe life is good but their concealable armor more so is a1 and on par with everything out there and they got really good deals as well and if you can't afford to pay all at one time they have this thing called um i forgot what i forgot what it's called but you could pay in payments uh with no no interest payments whatever uh, they break it up into fours so like for a, a 400 hundred dollar set 
you know, all you need, the vest, everything, all the, the panels, the armor, it comes out to like four something, but you'll end up paying like 97, 97 something a, a month. So that's good for people who can afford it all at once. Um, then there's the other option, and I've tried this vest before, and I actually have one. It's called Bullet Safe, and people look at it. It's by uh, Priveco, uh, Tom, uh, I forgot what his last name was. And the vest itself is a good, good vest, good quality. You know, it's Chinese armor, but it's been tested. It does its job. It stops a bullet. Now, I don't care. American armor, Chinese armor, whatever it is, as long as it stops the bullet and does its job, then it's good armor, in, in a sense, you know, um, so what I'm, what, what I'm trying to say is for a bug out situation, this right here really wouldn't be idle, maybe I would go with my concealable armor if I had to have it and just carry it with me because it's a lot lighter. You know, and I could throw it on and hide it under a sweater, hide it under a shirt, you know, in case I want to go gray man or something. But if something happened, more than likely, I would have this because this stays in my truck. Um, when I get off of work, I, I just unhook it real quick, throw it off, throw it into my truck. When I get home, I, I take it out. And when I get into my truck, it goes right back into my truck along with my bug out bag. Uh, my concealable armor, on the other hand, you know, I put it in, in the closet, it hangs up. I wear it every once in a while on, you know, when it's hot, a hot day, I'm like, yeah, no, I don't wanna wear the big old bulky plate carrier. Or if I wanna be a little bit more discreet, you know, uh, look better in my class A uniform. Um, you know, just got uniform inspection, you know, so they can see the creases of my uniform. Then I'll wear my concealable armor, you know, or when I'm, uh, when I'm just not feeling up to carrying all this armor on me or I, there's no need to have all this equipment you know I got my radio you know I got my I got I got a knife I got pins cell phone holder badge um, you know usually I carry mace on my vest as long as mace on my on my belt you know I've, I've even seen my partner has a baton he has handcuffs on his he has his gun on his and you don't have nothing on his belt. I'm like, man, dude. Like, if you have to take your... If I have to take this vest off to jump into the water and save somebody or swim, it's going to suck because I'm going down, dude. Like, and even if even if I can swim with it on, I have to... You know, all that stuff gets wet, whatever. And I don't want to have to do a quick release to take this off and leave it and all my stuff is attached to it. So... I, that's one of the things like you know my gun and everything is attached to it so if I have to leave it then it's there my concealable armor the bad thing about it is it don't stop rifle rounds so in a bug out situation more more than likely you're gonna encounter people with common rifle rounds you know um, I mean common pistol rounds you know uh, you're gonna have your gang members forming in groups and I mean, don't get me wrong, gangs have AK-47s, gangs have, gangs have all the good shit that we can't have, which makes no sense to me, um, because they buy it illegally, but yet they want to limit what we can have, but you can move a whole lot better, you can hide a whole lot better, you can, you know, there's a lot more you can do with concealable armor on that you can't do with a plate carrier on and there's a lot more you can do with a plate carrier than you can with concealable armor like this you, you firing at me with an AK-47 or AR-15 I'm not gonna be scared to lay down fire I'm not gonna be scared to lay down fire with a concealable arm armor on regardless because that's that's just me but some people will think before they react but like, hey that guy's firing a rifle I got a pistol I need to just hang back here retreat or whatever you know um, I'm gonna lay down fire regardless, but that's just you know that just lets people know, or lets lets per, lets you get the feeling, hey, this guy's firing a rifle. My vital organs and all that is covered with steel plates, and on the side right here, on the sides here, you got a, you know, steel plates there. You can steel plates on the front, steel plates in the back. Um, you know, you still got a lot of open areas right here 
my concealable armor goes all the way over here underneath my armpits all that area is covered too so you know it, it, it all really depends on the person and what they're comfortable with some people I've heard people say they're useless for bug out you know they're there's no need in having them because they're heavy they're bulky you know all that I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it I would rather be shot at with any type of body armor on rather than shot at with no body armor on and in a pinch if you're at a library or somewhere you can make body armor out of books has been test if you look on YouTube a guy made I forgot his YouTube channel uh, a guy made a uh, taped some books made like a vest out of it and then they shot it in the the nine the nine millimeter went through one book the second book stopped it so that's your homemade body armor you know uh, some guy made them out of tiles uh, some guy made it out of uh, stop sign metal you know tape that around you I'm sure you could tape I'm sure you can make it out of all kinds of things but maneuverability and being able to get somewhere quick and bug out like you should I would recommend me personally I would use my concealable armor just because I can I could fight with it on if I have to I could uh, you know I could I could retreat that's always an option anyways but I'm a lot quicker I'm a lot more agile the good thing is that I can hide it I can go gray man have plain clothes go into town like hey I'm just looking around you know I'm I'm just a normal person out here trying to scavenge for food but little do you know <clears throat> I got a freaking hand cannon and a bulletproof vest on and if anybody's gonna be delivering the hurt it's gonna be me so you know if I'm walking down the road I got a big old plate carrier on people are like hey this guy this guy's prepared he's got a bunch of crap we want and so let's all attack him you know so that that's my two cents on it um sorry sorry about the not having enough content I've been working a lot lately I work I work graveyard today I'm doing a an evening shift so I have time to stop before my shift where I'm at and uh, make a real quick video but I work a lot of hours I haven't really had time for YouTube videos I've been trying to give you guys a whole lot more content you know I got a lot more certifications that I went to school got so that way I can give my I'm not going to say expertise because I'm not an expert in the situation, but give my opinion based on the training that I received. You know, I got nine FEMA certifications now. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I just got my associate in criminal justice. You know, I got a first responder certified, um, emergency first aid, CPR, AED, all that stuff. Um, so there's a lot more videos I wanted to do now based off of my training and my opinions correlating to using it in a bug out situation. So stay tuned for those. You guys please like the channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please share these videos. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for being patient.